Oh, hello, YouTube. Today we got a really fun project. You want to explain it, Dad, even though it's my project? Because people like it when you talk. I don't know. He's going to try to braise cast time. That, that's all you got? That's why people like you. Learn how to self teach yourself to braise. Yeah. So what we're doing, we took this, we got this here V6 cylinder head, 516 casting. We cut a, a chunk of it off. It's a junk head. It don't need, it needs a lot of work to be runnable again, and I got a whole shelf full of them. Cut it in half with a uh, circular saw. It also makes a cool cutaway piece. You can see how everything works in the cylinder head. Well, we, we're going to initially just cut grooves into the head and teach ourselves how to braise the cast iron together because we got a special project coming up. It'll be a whole nother video. Actually, this was a pretty good cylinder, actually. The seats aren't too bad in this one. But what we're going to do <laughs> is uh, we're going to clean up this cast iron like how you do to weld it. We're going to V out everything. This piece is still hotter than hell. So what you do is you clean those up, V them out, and then you braise them together. We've done cast iron welding with the arc welder, but don't really want to use the arc welder on stuff like this, so we're gonna give this a shot and see how we do. See you the next part. Right, so Dad's playing, he's practicing, even though I'm gonna be the one brazing, so it should be me doing that. But we got our V groove cut all out right there. And I'm gonna try and hold this piece up. You do that so you get clean metal and you want to lay the shit right in that V. So, this will be the test piece. And then once the actual project gets here, hopefully one of us is good enough sure. at brazing. <laughs> I ain't never been worth a damn at it. Oh well, we're going to try.
Okay, so my uh, first impression of brazen cast iron is, uh, don't. It's a pain in the ass. We managed to get this. It's literally a pain in the ass. This is now cooling down. This is hotter than dick sweat. But uh, once that cools off, we'll get a good look at it. It's sticking. We had the vice grips off and it didn't fly anywhere, so we don't. It's stuck on there. Just how good it's stuck on there. Oh, we got a hammer? No, it's not going to hammer. No. But uh, yeah, you guys will know if it holds or not <coughs> way sooner than we will. So uh, see you at the end guys as you can see we're inside it's a new day and the brazing was successful no it's not the prettiest work but uh it held it's holding fine uh so now i know i can braze just need a lot of practice of getting better at it but uh yeah made kind of a cutaway of this head you can see how everything works um, started doing some port work on it. Let me move it. Just uh, playing around with uh, porting the intake out on this one. I mean, what am I going to hurt if I break through? It's never getting used again. Even this little guy right here, I smoothed it out. And you can see where there's still part of the crack there. Didn't get a perfect deal in there, but it's holding. And you can see the crack up inside still, but... Um, not a huge deal um, home premise of this was to take a junk cylinder head and to see if we could braze on a piece that was broke the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some straight grooves into the deck surface with just a cutoff wheel just a straight line and see if we can fill that that I probably won't film but that's all part of the project that's coming up that you all see um, but yeah we now know we can braze um, like I said it just it actually just takes a little bit of a <clears throat> patience and that red shit there's the flux got it a little bit too hot probably but um, yeah I just started trying to smooth this down a little bit in here but luckily now we know we can do it it's a kind of a fun little process, you know. We ain't got no money for a fancy TIG machine. For luck, we have the mill or the Eastwood 220 machine. We got the MIG 175. Got pretty good at aluminum welding, and I figure we're gonna continue to uh, weld on cast iron. There's some things we can do with the uh, uh, arc welder of my dad's, his stick welder. And there's some things like on cylinder heads where you'd rather not use that much power. So yeah, um, y'all stay tuned and you'll see what this is all alluding to in a future video. Thank you for watching. Bye.